Hi children, now we are in the part 2, Wonders of the Living World, the lesson unit 1 from grade 6. I have divided that topic into three parts. The second part is characteristics of organisms. Okay, let's move. Let's see what are the characteristics of organisms. First one, growth. Second, nutrition. Third movement, fourth respiration, fifth reproductions. Today we are covering these all areas. Growth. You can see a picture of growth of cat, growth of a coconut tree. This increase in size, height, amount is called growth. What do you mean by growth? Increase in size, height, or amount. There is no growth in non living things. Let's do this small activity to understand the growth of organisms. You have to take few yogurt cups with soil, some green gram seeds, and a measuring tape. Take the green gram and soak the seeds in water for one day. It's like this. After one day, you can see green gram sprouts like this. Next, plant the seeds in the yogurt cups with wet soil. Keep it in mind, make some holes in the bottom of yogurt cups like this. Next, when the seeds are germinate and grown up to a certain height, start measuring the height of the plants and observe the nature of leaves daily. Here is the seed in first day, second day and third day. Fourth, fifth day you can see they have come in or out from the soil. In sixth day some leaves are there. This is a picture of germination and growth of the seed. After that, you can observe the nature of the leaves daily and repeat it for a week. In the first column, date, second height of the green gram plants, third number of leaves. Repeat it for two weeks with the help of teacher. Next characteristics is nutrition. Satisfying the food requirement of organisms is called nutrition. What is nutrition? Satisfying the growth requirements of organisms is called nutrition. All organisms including human, humans need food for survival. Most green plants produce food within themselves. So these plants are called autotrophic. Most Green plants produce their within food within their themselves. So these plants are called autotrophic. Trees use carbon dioxide from air, soil water, and sunlight to produce food. This process is called photosynthesis. This is the picture of photosynthesis. Animals depend on plants directly or indirectly. Animals are considered as heterotrophic. Animals are considered as heterotrophic because animals depend on the plants directly or indirectly. Animals uh, depend on plants directly. There are the examples for you. Deer, cows. Take plants as food. They depend on plants directly. Animals depend on plants indirectly. Tigers, lion. They take fish, flesh as food. So they are depend on plants indirectly. Next characteristic is movement. Animals moving from one place to another place is called location. What is location? Animals moving from one place to another place is called location. 
showing different movement is common feature of living organism. Here you can see some examples creeping, walking, running, swimming and flying. That cannot be moved. But they show different moments. Coral pulp, sea anemones, these are the examples. Plants show sleeping moment when it is touched. Is the mimosa. When mimosa plant is touched, the leaves of mimosa plant shows sleeping moment. Plants show sleeping moment in the evening. Thermorite, Albicia, Katurumurunga, like that examples. Movement of plants that cannot be observed during short period of time. Here yeah, you can see some example plant bending towards sunlight. When plant is kept on a window sill after some days, the stem of the plant bent towards the sunlight. It is to a movement of a plant. Non-living things move only when an external force is applied. Let's see next characteristics. Respiration. Can you see the stomach moving up and down when the person is relaxed position? It is because taking air and releasing air out which means inhale and exhale oxygen in the air once breathed in reacts with the food stored in the body and produce energy this is process is called respiration what is respiration oxygen in the air once breathed in reacts with the food stored in the body and produce energy this process is called respiration in respiration process, oxygen is used, inhaled, carbon dioxide is released, exhaled. Respiratory movements are called the movement of the chest move up and down because of the process of inhaling and exhaling, as we have studied already. Plants do breathe, but do not show respiratory movement. No respiration in non-living things. Here we have to do an experiment to find out whether exhaled or contained carbon dioxide. You a straw, a test tube and colorless lime water. Put some colorless lime water into the test tube. Then bubble the exhale air into the test tube as shown figure. Here you can see colorless lime water using the carbon dioxide in exhale air. It's turned into off-white. So we can conclude exhale air contain carbon dioxide. Next one is a mature living being producing new members of the same species is known as reproduction. What is reproduction? A mature living being produced members of the same species is known as reproduction. It's with it's the reproduction of a plant. It's a reproduction of Reproduction is essential for the extinction of living organisms which occurs in different Reproduction does not occur in non-living things.